our next section is one of my favorite it's a beautiful section we will learn so many things here for example how to create this fadings effect and also how to create testimonial slider when the images are kind of zoom in and the text popping up from the bottom and going to the top this is very professional looking section and let's start by creating a new section so let's choose a full width section and into this section we will look for slides so type slides over here you will find this widget and drag it to here beautiful the first thing we can see obviously that the slider does not take the full width of the section as i told you earlier the section is limiting the width of the column inside of it to 1040 pixels to change it let's go to the settings of the section and under the layout tab we will change it from box to full width we can also see that there are 20 pixels padding to each side of the column top right bottom and left and because the default padding is 20 pixels for the columns so click on the columns and go to the advanced tab and change it to zero and now we can see that it's 100% full width without any padding and it's committed to be full width which is what we want beautiful now we can start working with the slides themselves so let's click on this element and here we can see we have two options under the content we have the slides where we can control each of the slides and the height of the slider and also slider options so we will work with the sliders option first but before that let's increase the height of the slider to maybe 500 pixels we want to make it big and noticeable of course excellent before we are going to work individually with each slide let's open up the slider options and we'll go through the options here so arrows and dots mean it will show you the arrows and dots so you can navigate between the slides you can change it to show only the arrows and you can see the dots disappeared you can show only the dots or you can show none and then the visitors won't have the option to navigate between the slides the autoplay option is pretty straightforward it's just going to autoplay it whenever the page is loaded the pause on hover or interaction it's also pretty straightforward it will pause the slider whenever you hover your mouse on the slider autoplay speed 5000 mean 5 seconds 5000 milliseconds mean 5 seconds and that the time each slide going to stay on the screen before we moving to the next slide if you want to increase the number and let every slide be on the screen longer just increase the number the infinity loop means that after the third or the last slider the first slider will come back again and that's how it will keep rolling the transition right now it's slider you can see that the new slide just slide into the screen from the right to the left you can change it to fade and then the new slide just going to fade into the screen instead of sliding the transition speed set to 500 which is half a second and that's the time that will take to the slide to slide from right to left and the last one in the content animation right now you can see the text coming from bottom to top as you can see you can always change it to anything else maybe like zoom and you will see the text zooming into the screen which is also really nice i like the default settings so therefore i'm going to keep it that way and after you're satisfied with it let's move on and work with each of the slides individually so let's re-expand the slides option we can see that we have three slides and we can add more by clicking on the add item button three is enough for us so i will delete them both now let's expand one of the slides the first one and we can see three tabs underneath it we have the background the content and the style let's focus on the background we can see we have a purple background color we can change it to any other color if you would like let's say like this baby blue and if we set an image it will overwrite the background color let's set this nice photo here of this woman lifting weights insert media and we can see the background image instead of the background color turn on this can burns effect and then the background image will zoom in toward us you can also make it zoom out if you wish like so 
and because we would like to make the text pop up better we should turn on the background overlay option just like so and change the background overlay to any color that you would like maybe purple and then just reduce the opacity so we can see our background image through the background overlay just like so excellent this looks really good we can also change the blend mode to any other option you can play with it and choose the one that you like the most i will stick with normal for this slide now let's switch to the content tab because we would like to change the text so let's switch to the content tab and here we will change the title and write down her name which in this example is going to be jessica in the testimonial text we will just make it a bigger paragraph a larger paragraph by pasting more text just like so and we can see the button text and the button link if we would like to remove the button just delete the button text and you won't see the button anymore beautiful now we can move to the second slide and create the second slide and later on design them so first of all let's upload the right image for the second slide we will upload this guy insert image again we have the option to change the size of it to make it zoom in or out and apply a background overlay in our case we will make it green doesn't look that good maybe we can change it to blue and the blue looks way better in my opinion for this image right you can also change the blend mode over here find the one you like go for it make some experiments everything is fine let's move to the text or the content tab and here we will change his name to danny we also write a longer testimonial by pasting this nonsense text And we're also going to delete his button because it's not a call to action button it's a testimonial right so we don't need a button we're just going to delete the text of the button and the button will disappear just like so excellent i think you got the point we don't need to create another slide we'll just leave it as is and we will switch to the style tab in order to style the slides all right, so we have a few options here, a few tabs, as you can see. Let's start with the slides. And the first thing is the content width. Right now it's set to 66%, but you can increase it to any other number or reduce it. I would recommend to keep it at 65 because it's going to keep the text in the center and it's very easy to read. We can also see in our demo site that our title, the name, is very small and the text is larger. So let's close this option and open the title option. And under the typography, let's reduce the title size to something like that, maybe 20, 20 pixel, just like so. And we can also change the weight from default to 400. It will make it more thin, right? More gentle. And that's nice. Let's focus on the description right now. And we will change the text size under the typography to something like 30 pixels. And we can also change the style to italic because it's a testimonial and that's a quote. It will fit better. You can also change the family font to something that will fit a testimonial. You can browse between all the fonts they have. We can choose this one, for example. You can choose any other one, of course. And that looks way better. It starts to look really nice. And if you're satisfied, go for it just click on update otherwise just keep playing with the design until you find the one you like excellent let's work on this fading effect as you can see between the section above it to our testimonial section so let's go to the section settings screen and here under the style tab we'll open the shape divider option we can apply it to the top or to the bottom we will apply it to the top and here under type choose the one you like i already know that it's the fan one and we can change the color of it to any color that we want but because we want it to integrate with the section above it it will be better to match the color of the section above it something like light gray now you can also play with the height and the width 
And if you can't see any result yet, just switch this button to bring to front and then you will be able to see the fan we created. Now it will be easier to play with the width and with the height because we can actually see what we are changing. I'm going to reduce the height just like so to create nice and gentle effect that will seamlessly integrate with the section above it. Excellent. Now we can close Elemental sidebar and see that it looks perfectly fine. It's really, really nice section and you did a great job, guys. Now we need to make sure it's looking good on mobile as well. Switching to mobile showing us that we have some work to do in order to fit it perfectly to mobile. We can see that the 65% content in the middle doesn't fit the, the mobile very well because it's very narrow. So go back to the style tab of the slider. We will change it from 65 to 100. And we can see that we're only affecting it on the mobile version, which is good. That's what we want. And of course, we can reduce the text size in, instead of 30 to something else. Maybe 20, 22. Just make sure it's looking good with every slide. So just go to the slides and make sure it looks sharp with every slide. And it is. Now, another thing we can do is just to reduce the height of the slider from underneath the content tab. We can just reduce it here for the mobile version only from 500 to 300. Again, go through the slides, make sure it looks good on every slide. And when it is, you can pretty much save the changes. Let's go back to our desktop view. We can see that nothing changed here. Click update, revisit your website, refresh it, and look at that. This is a beautiful section. Amazing job. You nailed it, guys. Very good. Before moving to the next section, I would like you guys to pause this video and build this slider yourself.